Now I could talk forever about the little occurrences and little moments that happen that you get to experience without the distraction of Instagram. I could go on and on and on, but there is one thing that I can narrow this down to. One big, huge, important, but really simple thing that not having Instagram has helped me do in my life today. And I really would hope that everyone could experience this and everyone could know what this is like. I often get asked what not having Instagram has done for me in my life today, meaning what benefits have come from not having it? What different areas of my life have been affected from this one decision not to have Instagram? And when I think about this, there are of course the obvious things that will come to the front of my mind, like, oh, well obviously it's helped me be more present, it's helped me build strong relationships, whether it's with my family or my friends or my husband, and we can lay in bed before we go to sleep and not be on our phones scrolling and we can spend time together and just enjoy each other's company and have that be the thing that's at the top of our mind before we fall asleep, not something that we saw on social media. Or I talk about when I'm by myself and just being okay with being bored and taking that boredom and choosing to be more observant whether I'm on the train, whether I'm in the car, or maybe at a stoplight instead of being stopped at a red light and picking up my phone, I can be observant of the things around me and actually go when the light turns green and not hold up traffic. <laughs> Just these obvious things that come to the front of my mind. I thought about all these little things, all these little tiny daily occurrences of when social media or Instagram specifically is taking up your time because that's something that is like default. You've got a spare minute here, you're taking a break at work, you're checking your Instagram. It's kind of something that a lot of people default to that since I don't have it and I don't really have much social media at all, I don't default to that. I'm more observant and I really pay attention to the things that are around me. I also think about how it's helped me think more critically. And when I'm out on vacations or I'm somewhere beautiful or doing something pretty cool, I don't feel like I have to document every single moment and I can really focus on being there rather than documenting it so that I can show everybody else because it doesn't affect them whatsoever and doesn't affect me whether they see that I was there or not. So I just try to be more present and not worry about really everyone else. Now, something that's really important to me in not having Instagram is the fact that it's created me into this person that is ultra grateful for my surroundings and that pays attention to just how cool humanity really is, how cool life is, even though it freaking sucks at times and it's really hard and there are all these struggles and challenges and wild craziness going on. It's cool to just like take a step back and look at everyone else around you and think, oh my gosh, each one of us is on a different path, but we're all going through different, completely different things. But I'm sure each one of us could find some sort of common ground where we're like, hey, I've been through that before. Or hey, I'm going through that right now. Or hey, I've been there, let me help you out. I think that everyone has something that we could relate with to another person. So when I think about that and I look at people around me and I just take in how cool humanity is, it's a cool experience that I think more people should and could experience if they weren't so dang busy looking down at their phone. Now I could talk forever about the little occurrences and little moments that happen that you get to experience without the distraction of Instagram. I could go on and on and on, but there is one thing that I can narrow this down to. One big, huge, important, but really simple thing that not having Instagram has helped me do in my life today. And I really would hope that everyone could experience this and everyone could know what this is like. And that one thing that not having Instagram has helped me do in my life today is focus on the things that really matter. Focus on the things that really matter in my life. And what I mean by focusing on the things that really matter is this. So Instagram was created by these two guys who wanted to create a photo sharing app. That's what Instagram is, a photo sharing app, right? So they put filters on the app because people wanted to make their photos look professional. They're like, oh, I'll post that if it can look as good as someone that's a professional photographer. You know, they wanted high quality images, which is why filters was a part of Instagram from the get go. Now, that's wonderful, it's a photo sharing app, totally makes sense, but unfortunately, it has turned into this place that makes you feel like you always need more. You're constantly thinking, oh, I need more clothes, I need more vacations, I need more cool experiences, I need more followers, I need more friends, I need more of this and this and this. And so you get caught up in this world of needing more and not being satisfied with what you really have, 
which takes your focus away from the things that really do matter. And so because I'm not on Instagram, I don't see all the perfection. I don't see the false reality. I don't see all the stuff being flashed in my face, making me think, oh, this will make you happy. This, no, this will make you happy for sure. No, this is the thing. I have none of that distraction in my life. So because of that, I'm able to, in my eyes, focus on the things that really matter to me, which to me, the things that matter are my relationships, my personal growth and development, my contribution, my feelings for myself and my feelings towards others, God, and just really feeling and trying my very best to get the most out of this life in every aspect that I possibly can. So if you're someone who just deleted Instagram, you're not sure if it's the right decision, or you're someone who's been contemplating and sitting on this decision for a while, you're just not sure what to do, I encourage you and I plead with you to ask yourself what really matters to you in your life. When you take away all the opinions that other people might have about you, when you take away all the pressure you might feel from the outside world or from other people, what really matters to you? If it's anything like the things that I shared that really mattered to me in my life, when you take those things and you take Instagram and you put the two together, is Instagram really helping you focus on those things or is Instagram distracting you from those things and taking you away from focusing on the things that really do matter in your life? Now only you know what's best for you and hopefully you'll make the best decision for yourself, but I wanted to share with you what not having Instagram has done for me in hopes that it will help you follow your heart and help you really focus on the things that really matter. Now, as always, I would love to hear from you. So what do you think about Instagram? What are your thoughts about this whole thing? Maybe you think that I'm crazy. Maybe you have a better idea in mind. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so very appreciative to each and every single one of you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.